Okay, so here's my 2013 uh, Can-Am Commander side by side. Uh, and this is my latest 18650 conversion project. Um, now you may be wondering, um, not too many of these uh, exist in, out there. Uh, I believe uh, after having spoken with uh, the manufacturer, only about 200 of these were ever made. Um, so these were uh, made from uh, the manufacturer uh, electric. Uh, it's not converted. Um, now, this particular unit was uh, used by a, uh, a company that would do an environmental tours in the wild. Um, so they would take people out, or people actually would drive these um, and go through a predetermined trail uh, in the wild uh, completely silently, no noise, uh, which was great. However, these were built with uh, lead acid batteries. I think you probably can actually see one right there under the driver's seat. And now normally this is covered. Uh, I took the plastic uh, plastics off um, to be able to access the batteries. Um, so these, there's eight uh, 12 volt less added lead acid batteries, about 72 pounds each. So that's uh, quite heavy at a total of 570 pounds. Uh, so the total vehicle weighs uh, almost 1900 pounds. So it's pretty darn heavy. They put uh, one battery in the front uh, about there. Uh, just on top of that is the charger. Uh, it's a, a charger, but it also acts as the DC to DC converter. Um, so uh, one battery there, one battery just behind the console. Um, two batteries under the driver's seat. You can see that one there that's laying down. Uh, the, neck, the one that, uh, in back, back that's standing. In, underneath the passenger seat, there's actually three batteries. And the last one is in the back, uh, underneath the, um, the, bo uh, the box. There's a lever here where you can actually tilt the back box. Uh, so it's meant to, it's this utility slash recreational vehicle. Um, you, there's storage compartment underneath, and like I said, you can put uh, sand or ground in the back there and, and dump it like a little dumping trailer. Uh, now you can see here, there's a, uh, a seat uh, that's added on, so that's not original. Um, that's in order to, to allow two uh, child, two kids to sit in the back. It's not designed to be there. That prevents you from using the dump trailer, but it adds the capacity of two more um, child seats uh, with five-point harness. Now, the problem with this is that adds a couple of hundred pounds in the back, which is heavy. Uh, with all the batteries in there, it was already pretty heavy. So when I bought it, the back end was sitting about three inches lower than the front. Uh, I changed the springs, which helped a lot. Um, uh, when I purchased this unit, actually, it wasn't operational. Uh, I had to consult with a uh, Can-Am rep uh, to, to get it going. Uh, so as I said, this was used uh, day in, day out uh, in trails. And lead acid batteries don't uh, like being fully uh, discharged uh, on a regular basis. And so he had these machines running all day, uh, probably until the battery were completely, completely dead. Uh, and then we charge it back up and then go again the next day. That, uh, in the first season, this was a 2013, so I'm assuming uh, the first season of 2013, uh, he completely ruined the batteries on this. Uh, and then the next season, he, they put new batteries in, ran the next season exactly the same way, and again, completely ruined the batteries. Uh, and then sold the unit off uh, to a private individual. He, uh, he had it for the summer of 2015. Um, or actually, I think he bought it at the end of 2015. Um, didn't really use it much. Uh, yeah, I guess he was he moved and bought a different house and didn't have access to to a place to to go riding. So uh, when he like I said when he sold it, it wasn't actually running anymore. I purchased it, uh, fixed it, uh, tested all the battery. I bought it last uh, f last fall, so the fall of 2016. I took every single battery out and I tested them. Uh, three were practically dead. Uh, I put a 50 amp load and they wouldn't last more than a couple minutes. Uh, one was fair and three were decent, still not uh, not very good. So what I ended up doing for just to end up the season and just to try it out, I only uh, put four batteries back in. Um, so it's two strings of four cells in the series, so a 48 volt system. Um, so that by putting only four back in, in, in series, I, I got the right voltage. 
However, I didn't have the right capacity with uh, weak cells, but it would get me about uh, five kilometer range, just enough to put around my, uh, my property, just to have fun and uh, to make sure everything else was okay. There was actually another issue. They actually, there was no park pole in this transmission. So they put it, uh, the manufacturer put a disc brake with a uh, electrical caliper sort of uh, arrangement. Uh, the previous owner had uh, actually ripped out the, the disc brake. So they had no park. I had to really fix that up. Anyway, so mechanically the machine is uh, sound now. Um, uh, it's running. I'll now be taking out all the lead acid batteries and replacing them with 18650 cells, which I salvaged from laptop batteries. Uh, so let's, uh, you, you can follow me along while I, uh, I do all the steps to, to see if I can get this working with uh, lithium ion. I'm hoping to shave quite a bit of weight off of this and end up with a greater range than when it was new. All right, so I'll see you guys soon.